Hi there, I'm Robert Osborne. We invite you to now see the movie that many rank as one of the three best movies ever made in Hollywood, right up there alongside Gone with the Wind and Citizen Kane. It's a movie with a title that suggests it's about the White House, but it's not, of course, although it's called Casablanca. It's a movie which stars not only Humphrey Bogart, but also Ingrid Bergman, who didn't want to do the film because she thought it was pretty ordinary stuff and not nearly as important as the movie she did want to be making at the same time, For Whom the Bell Tolls, How Little We Know. And on this Sunday, we're bringing you Casablanca as part of our DVS showcase, DVS standing for Descriptive Video Service, where if you wish, a narrator will describe whatever action or movement is happening on screen as the movie unfolds. All you have to do is turn on the SAP function on your TV or VCR, and that's SAP for Second Audio Program. You can usually find it on your remote control. So do that right now and enjoy one of the great, great movies of all time. From 1943, Casablanca. There, but for an agent's greed, Bogart might have been saying goodbye not to Ingrid Bergman, but to French actress Michelle Morgan. At one point, when Ingrid Bergman was being very slow about accepting the role of Ilsa, a definite offer went out to Michelle Morgan, who was in Hollywood at the time and had just scored a big hit in a film called Joan of Paris. But her agents asked $55,000, so Warner Brothers passed on her and eventually got Ingrid Bergman for less than half that. They got Ingrid Bergman for $25,000. Up next, we celebrate the birthday of Janet Lee, so stick around. 